everybody, and welcome to OHL Prime Time. It's Brampton, Ontario, and the Erie Otters come up from the Keystone State for the first and only time to take on the Brampton Battalion here on OHL Prime Time on Rogers Television. Glad you can join us here. I'm Mark Heron. I'm your host for today's events. And the Brampton Battalion and the Erie Otters have one thing in common. They've both been struggling recently. The Erie Otters a little bit more than the Battalion. Erie has not won in six straight games, while the Battalion are uh, now three and counting without a win. Of course, here at home, where they usually play very well, they have not lately. They have lost three straight games here at uh, the bunker, but sort of upstairs, too. Oh, my goodness. That can't be Todd Crocker nor Miller upstairs. Are we all here together, kids? We're like a big group again. It's like being home. Oh, it's great. I feel like I'm home for the holidays. It's wonderful. It's a it's battalion wonderful. game. I'll take it. Set to go get underway as the Fletcher's Creek Senior Public School Choir leaves the ice. Handled the national anthem wonderfully. The goaltenders this afternoon, Darren McChesney for the battalion, Josh Disher for the Erie Otters. There you see Darren McChesney. Save Suffered percentage. some early season losses, but has picked it up lately. Starting things out, Howie Martin in the middle, Jason Cassidy on the right, Luke Lines on the left. And the battalion win the draw defensively. Nick Duff, Michael Vernace. Tyler McKinley moves that one up the boards. O'Mara, Polsky intercepts it, little back hit, it scores! Aaron Snow! 52 seconds into the first period, the battalion get on the scoreboard. And Norm, you said they had to do it early, but did you expect 52 seconds early? Well, one minute of the game, bullet here by Volsky off the back glass. Vols Aquino tries to cash it in, and Aaron Snow in the right place at the right time. Moves that one back the other way. Dumped in, Taylor Raska doing the work. Raska picks it up in the backhand, centers it, the shot! Snapped out of the air by Disher. Volsky and Vernace on the power play. Aquino steps in, a hard shot out front, trying to pick it up is Martin, and he couldn't quite get the stick on that. Now, London out front, and that is intercepted by Aquino, and now he and Volsky are off to the races. Here's Aquino, looks in, finds Volsky back to Aquino! That is wide of the mark. Hines moves it to Bernays, he gets it right back. Out front, back side, Lucha Aquino! Picks it up, that seemed to be moving in slow motion. Picked up on an errant pass. Here's Bernays back to Aquino, tries it again and scores! Lucha Aquino! A Louisiana power play goal in his 100th career point. 12.48, the time of the goal. Put the battalion up 2-0. Let's look at this one again. Well, slow developing rush, and Bernays comes in, finds a Lucha Aquino wide open from the second or third attempt from that spot. With the man advantage, trickles between Josh Disher. That makes this a 2-0 game. Pass across the middle. The Gasper for the fans here. London steals it away from Sonnenberg. To the backhand, poke check by Darren McChesney. And back the other way comes Kleina. Kleina back for Snow. The shot stopped by Disher. He has come up with some outstanding ones. Bernays leans in, takes a shot, and Blunden gets that hard in the skates. That shot, top shelf, Bulski scores on the power play. 17-27, the time of the goal. 3-0, the Brampton Battalion intent on breaking their losing skid and heading back to their winning ways. Oh, this is a Quick one-timer from Wojtek Volsky, top corner. We've seen that a few times this year. Many have wondered why he's playing the point on the power play. I think we just saw exhibit A of why Stan Butler has Wojtek Volsky on the point. For 6 nothing as the battalion have been buzzing here in this first period. Sonnenberg again, no rebound, smite, and he knocks it home to make it 4 nothing. Nineteen sixteen, the time of that goal. That goal comes just 49 seconds after Volsky's power play goal. A good low, good shot by Sonnenberg. Disher can't control. Josh Kidd actually got his stick on that puck for here. 
They trade out a little bit of size. Disher was 6'2", 5'9", and I don't think he was the problem at all in the first period. No, this uh, game could easily be 6 or 7 nothing right now. Josh Disher made some good stops as the battalion had a barrage of 24 shots. Uh, you certainly want to give your guys a chance to win. There's a shot back, and a stop by McChesney on the rebound, too. They'll chase it back. Has it slide in on McChesney, who confidently plays it into the corner. Back out front it goes, turning around, stop, scored! And Darren McChesney, who has faced all of nine shots in this game so far, gives up a goal there that he won't like to see on video. Number 21, Mike Blunden. He and Ryan O'Mara played on, the, played on the national junior team with Team Canada, and he breaks McChesney's shutout bid here, 2.23 into period number two. It's just an innocent looking play. Perhaps McChesney screened. We'll turn around there by O'Mara. And now the Erie Otters are mounting some offense here or trying to. Back out front, the shot scores! Paul Mary on the power play with six seconds left. And this game now four to two quickly in the second period. Well, Palmieri, Nick Palmieri left uncovered the side to the right of Darren McChesney. You'll see it here on the, he's just to the left of your pitcher and uncovered and. Moore probably going to the box for knocking Christian Olsen onto his keister. And that was a too many men, but it stopped by McChesney anyway. Well, Ludzik wasn't even at the bench yet. Tangled up. Now across the line, Hodgman takes the shot. Root by Kidd, that went off the bar and in, and now it's four to three. Oh, and Justin Hodgman with the assist. He's got a large contingent of family and friends here to watch him play. What a thrill that must be for him to get involved in a play like that. 14-26, the time of this goal. Kidd with a great shot, quick Ooh. release for the Erie defenseman. That and got in there in a hurry. Just like that, Todd, we've got a one goal game. Lines gets back up high to Volsky and finds Vernace. Volsky gets it back. Out front, scores! Luke Lines took the shot, but it was tipped out front, I think by Aquino. And now Volsky saying to the referee exactly who did touch that, let's See if we can look at it. I don't think this will be credited to Luke Lines, but I'm not sure. Here's the shot. Yeah, Might have hit the shaft of Aquino's stick. With Blunden and now O'Connor. Blunden gets it back. They tighten it up. O'Connor looks in. Blunden loads it and scores it. Make it 5-4 on the questionable penalty that Jason Cassidy took on himself. Well, and then Nick Duff compounds it, and here you see Blunden, second of the game, as he takes the feed and just come about, came in a minute, the pass back from O'Connor to Blunden, and he one-times it. That five on three, lots of time to set it up. And it's a one goal game. But a power play goal by the Erie Otters, another one. Power play, he's got O'Connor on the backside, jumps in there! That one scoots off wide. Wojtek Volsky against McKinley on the way back. Volsky gathers it in. He's got Aquino back up high. Fires in. Aquino, big shot by Ludzik. Good. We'll play that one. Knocked back out of the zone. Nine seconds left in the extra man. Wojtek Volsky steals it away to the backhand. Sends it wide. And good play by Volsky. He and Aquino are so dangerous on the penalty kill. And Steals it away from O'Connor. Unbelievable goal. Wojtek Volsky makes it 6-4. to four, A minute 15 seconds after it would have been a shorthanded goal. It was not. His 20th goal is a 5-on-5. Five five. He just takes it away from the casual Sean O'Connor. Well, you wonder if that... Pass. You wonder if that caught up a bit there on the fresh ice. Snow. 
across the line, leaves it back for Aquino. Aquino gets it back. Nope. Wolski by himself again. Loose puck out front. And it's John DeGray. Chipped at the line. Wolski away to the races. Wolski break. Tosses it back and just thought he had a. O'Mara takes the shot, kick save, and now it's picked up by Volsky. Away he goes again with Aquino this time. Volsky, Aquino, that one stays out somehow. What a stop by Ryan Ludzik. Well, I haven't been there. We're in the call on Aquino. What a great opportunity for Brampton to add some insurance here and go up by three. Volsky side of the net line, scores! 7 4. Luke Lines just keeps on coming. Second goal of the game for Lines. Both on the power play and with the five on threes uncovered by the near post and just deflects that over Void past Ryan Ludzik. Sorry, the shot by Volsky. And for Volsky, that'll be his fifth point in the league. Dumped in, O'Connor gives it away again. Seymour this time. Ludzik comes up with a big save, tries to play it again, and Back. four on three. I just argued that. Well done. <laughs> you didn't convince me. No. Luchaquino back to Volsky, dribbling in. No! Ludzik comes up with a save. Aquino waits for Luke Lines. <laughs> Volsky, Strenzel, the shot. Still scrambling, little backhander by Martin goes wide. Here's Aquino, they start moving it sharply now. Volsky flips at it, scores! Six points and a new battalion record. In one game, Wojtek Volsky. A hat flips onto the rink. Was it Volsky that scored it? Anybody else touch it? We'll see. Let's take a look. This could be the trick for Volsky. Well, and again, one timer right in between the circle. And he gets away a good quick shot as he always does. And I don't know. He negates the offensive opportunity. Volsky with a little tap on Ryan O'Mara. Here's Snow by himself. Shot, stop. Volsky scores! Seven points for Wojtek Volsky. Four goals, what an afternoon! Uh, and this one comes shorthanded. Three goals in his third period alone for Wojtek Wolski. A great feed to Aaron Snow to set up this opportunity, and there you see the Otters skate by the puck, and Wolski just deposits this. He has taken heat, all sorts of it, over the course of this season. Well, you just After have to... Sutter took him off of Team Canada's list and said, no, not the kind of player we want. Seven points in an afternoon. That's the kind of player I'd want. And he obliterates the uh, team single game point scoring record, which was previously five. It's a little bit of applause here from the stands. I have to agree with you, Todd. There seems to be some folks who don't enjoy the type of game he plays, but... Now, for choosing up sides, he's one of the guys I take on my team. Numbers. Last minute of play here, a little backhander. Still loose. Big stop by Ludzik. Craig McNabb tried to knock it home. But 60 minutes. Back out front, little shot. McChesney comes up with a save. And here's Howie Martin. Martin takes the last shot on goal. Ludzik turns it aside, but... Both goaltenders were under heavy duty fire from the Brampton Battalion. 9 4 the final. And they snap a three game losing streak in style. On that final shot, the 55th of the game for the battalion, that's a team single season high. And a very impressive performance this afternoon by the Brampton Battalion. They jumped on the Erie Otters early with four first period goals, went into a bit of a lull there in period two, but responded in period three with four goals to put this one away. 9-4 the final from the bunker.